Hi, I'm Trang Tran, here to talk to you about Texas law on getting your last paycheck after you have lost your job. After you lose your job, whether it's a termination or resignation or a layoff, uh, Texas law requires your employer to give you your last paycheck within six days or your next pay period. This law is called the Texas Payday Act. So the Texas Payday Act dictates when your employer must issue you your last paycheck. Now, when we talk about last paycheck, that could be your regular paycheck, your salary, and it should include your reimbursements, business reimbursement. It could include your bonuses or your commission. So any compensation that uh, was coming your way and is due on your next paycheck, you should get that within six days or the next pay period after your departure from your job. So that's a statutory avenue to get your, um, your last paycheck. The question you may ask is, all right, we have a Texas Payday Act. There's a law that dictates when the employer needs to pay me. How do I get it? Well, you have to visit the Texas Workforce Commission's website and then you have to fill out a wage claim. A wage claim is the process that the TWC, Texas Workforce Commission, uses to pursue and recover your unpaid wages. It's an administrative process that's limited to just employers who already have an account with the Texas Workforce Commission. So if your employer has been paying uh, unemployment taxes uh, from your payroll taxes, from your payroll uh, checks to the Texas Workforce Commission, they will already have an account. So TWC will be able to reach into that account, recover the money they need, and to pay you. Uh, the TWC has not been very good in recovering paychecks from employers that have not being paying unemployment taxes or may not even have an account with the TWC. Those employers are generally folks that uh, think that all their workers are independent contractors. They have no employee so they think they don't have to pay unemployment taxes. Oftentimes you may have an employer that do have an account with TWC but they don't report all the employees as employees. They're invisible because they have classified all of those employees as independent contractors. So the TWC may not recognize that you have an account with this employer. You don't have a profile listed with this employer and therefore TWC may not be able to recover your last paycheck. So I just discussed with you the statutory avenue to collect your last paycheck, but there's other ways. So Texas has common law claims where you cannot work for somebody and de be deprived of payment. You can file a lawsuit. It's called quantum merit. This quantum merit is a Texas common law claim that allows you to recover your last paycheck by filing a lawsuit in state district court or county court, depending on how much is involved or, how, or where your lawyer decides to file the lawsuit in which case you will have a, a right to go to trial and prove up that you worked and you earned that money and you have it coming. There's a third avenue and that third avenue is found under a federal law called the Fair Labor Standards Act. Did you know that under the FLSA, the Fair Labor Standards Act, it's illegal to have people work for you for free? Yeah, imagine that. So there's a minimum wage requirement under the FLSA and it requires the employer to pay you $7.25 an hour for every hour you work. And if the employer does not pay you your last paycheck, that seems like the employer allowed you to work for free. They didn't pay you $7.25, they just didn't pay you at all. 
So you have an avenue to file a claim under the Fair Labor Standards Act for minimum wage and also for unpaid overtime. So in, in, uh, in summary, there's three avenues to collect your paycheck after you leave the job. You have the Texas Payday Act, and you pursue that through TWC. You have a quantum merit claim under the Texas common law, which you pursue through Texas court. You have to hire a lawyer for that. The third option is uh, the Fair Labor Standards Act. You will hire a lawyer, and it's a two-year to three-year statute of limitation uh, for that cause of action. Uh, your lawyer will be able to best advise you on which option is the best option for you. Uh, some people may think, uh, I want to do this on my own, and you can, and you should if you know how to do, so, uh, to do it. I think um, it's a great start if you would just visit the Texas Workforce, the Texas Workforce Commission website and also uh, the Department of Labor's website and do your own research.